YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Southside Nate back with another video. And on this video, and I'm about to go ahead and rewrap this dashboard. This came out of a box Chevy. I don't have this baby sitting around for a while. I actually got this and the door panels out of a box Chevy. I got this, the door panels, the seats. I got a lot of stuff out of that box Chevy. But I'm gonna go ahead and rewrap this. Just to get some practice on. And I know when I had wrapped mine, you know I did the marble effect with the epoxy on mine. I'm not gonna do that on this one. I'm just gonna paint this one. Now when I did mine, the one on Summer Rain, I painted it with that satin black before I put the epoxy on it. And that baby looked amazing. I throw a clip in the video so y'all can see it. So I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do with this one. Go ahead and wrap it up. Paint it satin black. Y'all know I don't be on my boy Sprayway page. Just refreshing my memory on what I gotta do. And it's go time, man. So I ain't gonna do too much more talking on this intro. We'll get the camera set up and we're gonna get busy, man. Let's get it. All the parts that's already rising like that, like that. I'm gonna snap that off. Get that out of my way. Just because I wanted the transition in here to be nice. I really can snap as much of this off as I can. That's just like that foam up under there. But it still got the shape. Got most of the crack smooth down, all the little pieces that were chipping away. Went on ahead and chip that off. Now it's ready for the fleece. I'm gonna go ahead and get that baby cut out. I got some 3M adhesive spray that we're gonna apply. It's go time. All right, I got all my materials and everything laid out. My fleece, fiberglass. Got some glue, body filler, fiberglass mat, some wood chip brushes, or some chip brushes. It's go time, man. Yes, sir. Make sure you have enough to be able to wrap it under and something to go inside these vents. Yeah, there's plenty. There's plenty and this, this fabric is scratchy. Everything y'all see me doing right now, I learned from Sprayway. I follow instructions. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fold it back. Hit half, then do the other half.
Oh yeah, she already, she already sticky. Just gotta make sure when I fold it over that I get it down in there good. Got it all the way over to the edge. All right. All right. I don't want no wrinkles in it. Uh oh. All right. All right.
All right, so I got the top down. I just gotta flip it over, trim the excess off, and tuck it under the bottom part good. Had a little wrinkle right there, but I was able to smooth it out with my finger before the glue dried all the way. All right, let me flip it over, hit the other side. What time is it, baby? I need to trim some of that over there.
I gotta get a razor. And put some more. Try to shoot some more adhesive right up in there. And I can fold that over better. That's what I gotta work on, like my own, um, my curves and my corners whenever I'm putting adhesive on stuff. I'll be messing up bad on them corners and them curves. got this one a little better but it still can be it can be better I'm just gonna cut the rest of this access off I gotta find a razor these scissors ain't cutting it I'm gonna cut y'all back on alright YouTube I got that baby wrap I messed up on the corners a little bit so I had to put them clamps up there just to hold that in until it get nice and dry. But for the most part, she wrapped. Got one little wrinkle right there. You can see where I was peeling that on um, top part off it. But once I do the body work, I fill all them low spots in. The side over here clean for the most part. Smooth. You can even see why I went through with my finger in there traced out that little line up here too. Now I know after I pile all the fiberglass up there, I ain't gonna be able to do that, but I just did it just because. Yeah, I got them tucked nice. I'm gonna have to build that up over there a little bit. Smooth it out. Get it looking like that. I'm gonna have to do some finessing in there too. Like piece of that um, thing crap. I might have to cut that open and peel that out. Cut this a little too short too. It ain't really much uh, folding over on the other side, but I'm gonna make it do what it do. Yes, this fleece don't move when we apply the fiberglass resin. So we're gonna glue down some of these spots that might lift once we put the resin on. Now everything y'all see me doing, my boy Sprayway, my boy Sprayway give you, the, give you the game step by step on how to do this. Probably need to throw some gloves on just in case. Got that right there just in case we need to hold some spots down. I know I need to hit along that line right there. Make sure it don't rise. I'm gonna hit along the speaker grill. Make sure that don't rise. Let's go ahead with it.
Oh yeah, this drops super fast. Oh yeah. It was really that one little spot over there that looked like it was rising. Up, up. Houston, you got a problem. Oh, yeah. Using this might not be a good idea, because I'll be damned if it ain't stick to this. Oh yeah, this stuff don't play no game. Right here seems like the only spot that I might need to put some pressure on. I'd be damned if it ain't stick to this.
put some fiberglass resin. Go hit it with one coat of resin. Get the fleece all wet with the resin. And then we'll come behind it with some fiberglass mat. And another round of resin. Well, yeah, man, she ready. That's just a safety precaution to keep the fleece from peeling up from the actual dash pad before you um, be able to do all the body work and everything. Try to keep some of them, them little body lines in the, just an extra precaution. But yeah, what time is it? 220. See, I got the fiberglass strands on it. I'm about to go ahead and put the fiberglass mat up there, then let that dry. Then we can get to the bodywork parts. But yeah, it look good. That thing don't care. It's serious. So what I gotta do is cut me some pieces out for the area where I wanna put some. And then we'll mix up the resin and start dabbing that baby in. Boom. Alright. I got I got it all cut out where I need it to go. Now I just gotta start applying the resin. I'm gonna throw y'all on the time lapse while I'm doing the resin. I'm about to mix it up, put my gloves on, mix it up, and get this um, fiberglass applied, baby. Let's get it. Got the resin mixed up, and you just start dabbing.
YouTube. So you see your boy being crunching away. Put the fiberglass mat up there. Already don't trim it out. Even though I'm sanding it down a little bit. Just trying to get start taking form. I still gotta do a little bit on the other side. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and mix some of this resin. I'm gonna mix the fiberglass resin with the bondo. And we're gonna pour it over. It's gonna be like self-leveling body filler. We ain't gonna pour it, we're gonna brush it on. And then once that dry, I'm gonna flip it over. And I got a few spots on this side that I wanna make sure I get body fill on real good. So when I start doing the final sanding, we can get this baby shaped up real pretty like. But I ain't gonna do too much talking. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this stuff up and get the applying. knocking this down now I don't hit it with the body filler and resin mixture it's all hard she ready to sand now it's time to start smoothing this baby in this the fun part but like I said I got my PPE I'm going to slap this on and get to work man let's get it
the speaker grills inserted. Had to clean some of that out. I think I might have to take some more off since I plan on wrapping this. That way I'll be able to pop these back in. I gotta account for the thickness of the material. So I might have to take some more off. But yeah, I do plan on wrapping this dash versus painting it. They look good though. I don't got about smooth. A few spots up here. Got some low spots. I'm gonna put the sand and block to that. Get that all the way flat. Try to keep that, that body line even all the way across. I don't know if the camera gonna pick it up. Yeah, uh, maybe not. But yeah, man, I'm almost to the finishing stages on this. Once I get this squared away, I'm gonna jump on the door panels. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm about done with this. After I get that part right there smoothed out how I need it, this will be ready to be wrapped. Then I'm gonna get on these door panels. I am gonna add speaker pods to these just like I did on the first set I did. The back ones though, I don't think I'm gonna put six and a half on the back ones. I think I'm gonna put a smaller speaker, maybe a tweeter or something. Throw some super tweeters on them. The front ones, I will be putting six and a halves up there again. I'm gonna clean these up, wrap them. See how this got that makeshift stitching right there? So when I wrap it, I want to keep that, keep that, that stitching on it. This the only thing, that's the only spot they got like that type of thing on it. Yep. So I'm going to make sure I do that when I wrap them. But yeah, man, it's go time. But yeah, I just got finished put getting these right, cleaning them holes out for them. I'm going to have to clean them up some more. Make them a little smoother. So whenever I do wrap it, they have a clean transition. Pop them grills in. Got them parts right there smooth. Smooth enough anyway. They smooth enough to be wrapped. Yeah, boy. Now this dude got a few little pin holes here and there. But I believe it'll be fine. Because once I spray that adhesive and stuff up there to the wrap them. And the fabric that I'm getting got like a little backing on it. It ain't as thick as like the headliner backing, but it do have a backing on it. So I think the little pin holes will be fine. Yes, sir. This one gonna be sick. This one gonna be sick. And I'm gonna be honest, I'll probably be replacing the one in Summer Rain with this one. Cause I already know how it's gonna come out. It's gonna be fine. I'm gonna have the stitching going around these right here. I'm gonna have the stitching going all the way down. I might even put stitching around the um, speaker grill. This one's gonna be fire. Yes, sir. I'm gonna do it black. Black vinyl. It's gonna be like that leather vinyl. And I'm gonna have to redo the center console for Summer Rain, too. I'll probably just redo them all. Go do a red deck and everything. Just the all black to match the black. So I'm gonna redo the center console because I will be putting the floor shifter in Summer Rain. And I got them Camaro seats for, man, it's go time. Well, yeah, man, that baby came out nice. Came out real nice. Ain't that grill cracked right there? I'm gonna have to see if I can repair that. Put some of that on um, that CA glue up there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to see about repairing that. Especially before I try to scuff it up for the paint. This one right here fine. I mean, it got some little fine cracks in it. You can barely see them. Like right there though, yeah, you see that? So if I can move it like that, dab some of that CA glue up there, then spray it, boom. Then put it back in place, you never know. It's gotta be real gentle when I do it. 
try not to break it. But when it was on summer rain, I had made that one a part of the dash and some of the fiberglass stuff got on it. When I was trying to crack it off, it broke the grill. Don't look good though. Let's see. You get me a little thumbnail. I'm gonna go ahead and upload this video. It's gonna be part one. Part two, I'll be doing these and wrapping them. These shouldn't take long. Cause all I really have to body work is wherever I put the speaker thing. But we'll see. Cause the last time, I don't know. I might do them like I did last time, just wrap the whole thing with the fleece, do it all at once. We'll see. If not, I'll just body work the part that I put the speaker pod. But yeah, so part two would be me working on them and hopefully wrapping them at the same time.